one of the tools used in the process for preparing your digital records for transfer to the National Archives is DROID, a file profiling tool. This tool provides you with an initial overview of metadata related to your records, which it will automatically generate. This metadata includes the identifier or file path of each record, the record's name and type, the date the record was last modified and the checksum. This allows you to verify that the record has not been changed in any way between the export from your systems and the actual transfer to the National Archives. In addition to these fields, you will be asked to provide additional metadata in order to complete the Metadata CSV. This includes information relating to closure and copyright, which needs to be added for all records regardless of whether they are open or closed. When providing closure information, it is recommended to start with those records to which closure needs to be applied to first. The following example will demonstrate copying information from the Date Last Modified column into the Closure Start Date column, which is required in order to assign all closed records with a start date for closure. Select the value in the column Date Last Modified for the first record by clicking the cell containing the date information. You can then copy this value to your clipboard by clicking the Copy option on the left-hand side of the Home tab. Alternatively, you can use the context menu by right-clicking on the cell you want to copy from and selecting the option Copy that is provided. Finally, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and C to copy the value. Then select the cell you wish to copy the value into as your next step. In this case, we will use the cell in the column Closure Start Date on the same row. Similar to copying, you have several options when pasting the copied value in the selected cell. You can use the Paste option provided on the left-hand side of the Home tab. Alternatively, you can open the context menu on the cell you want to copy the selected value into by right-clicking and selecting the Paste option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and V to paste the selected value to the new cell. In the same way as you can copy and paste a value from one cell to another, you can also copy and paste the same value to a range of connected or disconnected cells. Start with one of the options previously described to copy the selected value. Here the term open in cell H2. Then select the range of disconnected cells you want to paste the value into by clicking these cells while holding the control key. Use one of the options previously described to paste the selected value to these cells. To paste the same value to a range of connected cells, select the value you want to copy, here the value Crown Copyright in cell M2, and use one of the copy options described previously. Then select the group of cells you want to paste the value into by clicking the first cell in the range. Here cell M3, holding the shift key and clicking the last cell in the range, here cell M12. Using one of the options described previously to paste the selected value will then populate these cells accordingly.